Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're gonna be doing another hair video. I know you guys enjoy the hair videos very much. Me, I'm like, eh, you know, they're all right. But today's gonna be a good one, okay? Because it's very simple, very easy, and fly. Literally took me up like notches. Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling up there right now, okay? So as you guys might know, I have barely any hair. My ponytail is like this long. It's a mess, okay? And you guys are probably like, Ashley, we're so happy that you're finally giving that other wig a rest, like the half up, half down one. And that wig is probably very happy too because it's looking pretty raggedy right now. And I've been wearing it out still. If you wanna know how I do this with my very, very, very short hair, if you wanna know more about the hair and everything like that, then go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> And it's just natural state, air dried, a mess. But this is what you guys are gonna need. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. We're gonna use the Tresemme gel. This is the number four. I just have the mini because this is the one I took on vacation when I just went to LA. You're going to need a comb, a flat brush, a rubber band, and your ponytail. Okay, can't really go without this. But just to start off, I'm going to part the hair where I want it. I'm gonna do a side part because that's what I feel like it looks the best. I'm gonna take these rings off because they're gonna get hello nasty with gel. I'm just gonna start combing everything down. Like I said, we have barely any hair, so I really wanna make sure that it is as flat as it can be, and every single piece of hair that can possibly be pulled to the back is going to be pulled to the back. And for reference, my hair right now is about four inches long in the back and five inches long in the front. So like as far as like how long the hair is, this piece of hair right here is about five inches, and these are about four inches, but they're only right there. I could probably use this whole little thing doing this ponytail twice. It really is gonna use a lot of gel. And this gel has some hold to it, but it's not like the most intense hold. For me, I have pretty fine, thin, straight hair, so it's gonna keep it down. But if you have a lot of texture to your hair, or if it's thicker, you might want to go with something that has more hold to it. And of course, we can spray it at the end, but I didn't really bother. I feel like this does stay really, really well. But what do I know? Because I've only done this once. <laughs> as soon as I put this ponytail on yesterday, I was like, feel like a brand new person. And I was like, I gotta do a video on this for all my short hair peeps out there who are out here struggling. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around real quick so I can show you guys putting my tiny little ponytail, like my little half an inch ponytail. A little struggle pony. Before I even put the points on, I'm just gonna make sure everything looks like how I want it to look. Everything is placed where I want it to be placed. I'm gonna fix my little sideburns over here so they're not just sitting there. Okay, so everything is to my liking now. We have our tiny little ponytail ready to go. And I'm gonna actually show you how I apply the ponytail itself. The ponytail that I'm gonna be using today is from a company called Insert Name Here. This isn't sponsored. I mean, if they'd like to though. <laughs> Nowhere to find me. This is called the Bella Ponytail. I also have a very long ponytail, I believe it's called Maya. But just because my hair is so short, I'm used to having short hair, I don't know if I'm comfortable with a full like <sighs> ponytail to flip around like maybe if I go out or do something I would but for now I really like this one especially because it has like a little flip at the end I'm loving the high ponytails with a little flip whether it like flips out or it flips in it's just giving me such a vibe you know and by the way this is the shade black brown because my hair right now is black brown but it comes with two bobby pins which you are absolutely going to need and then the ponytail itself 
is like this. So it's like a weft that goes across. And then the inside, you can see like where it's all been put together here. It's got a comb right here in the back. So this is where you actually hook it on to the top of your ponytail. And then as you can see right here, this might look confusing, but actually when you put it on, it's really easy. It has a Velcro all along the top. So I'm probably missing so many gems on my nails, you guys just ignore it. So we're gonna like wind it around our hair like this. And this extra little piece is what's going to cover the Velcro part and it's curled, which is really convenient because this is exactly how it's going to lay around your hair. I'm low key a little nervous just because I did this in a mirror yesterday. It's not hard to do, but doing it in like a two way mirror where you have like your medicine cabinet or something, or you can like look in one mirror and then the other makes it a lot easier because you can see the back of your head a lot better. So basically I'm gonna take this comb right here and I'm gonna put it right on top of my ponytail. So that's on there now. Like I thought it might just fall right off because my hair is so tiny, but it actually stayed on really, really, really well. Take this piece right here, the shorter side, I'm gonna tuck it underneath the ponytail. Then I'm gonna take this side where the hair piece is and I'm just going to wrap it around, trying to do it as tight as I can Obviously, it's not gonna fit tightly around my skinny little ponytail because I barely have any hair. But if you have a thicker ponytail already, you're just gonna wanna wrap it around tight. So you can kind of hear the Velcro attaching on. And now it's on there, but it doesn't feel 100% secure because it's not wrapped around yet. And it's probably gonna end up, mine ends up on the bottom, which is perfect because I can stick the bobby pin right into it. I've got my two bobby pins here. I'm gonna take one, put the hair on it and just stick it inside. And then I'm gonna to put in a second one on the opposite side. And it's really, really in there. So like I said, it was a little bit hard to do without the mirror, so I went ahead and just fixed how it was wrapped up a little bit. So hopefully that looks cuter. But yeah, and I like to wear it to the side like this. Like I don't know who I think I am right now. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am living for this. It's so easy and it's just a look, something that I can do when I'm really not feeling my short hair, which is all the time, you know, like I'm really not feeling her. You remember back in the day, like we used to have to put clip-ins and just wrap them around your ponytail and make a long ponytail out of it. That's what I used to do at least. I'm sure people still do that, but this makes it so much easier. Anyways, that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys. No, I was not born in 1999. Okay, I'm 24. This just is a necklace. That was cheap at Forever 21.